So I'd like to thank uh, Philip and uh, Cheryl and Adina for having me tonight. Uh, like Philip said, my name is Luke Zamaripa, and I'm in front of you for two reasons tonight. Uh, the first is, is that I'm an alumnus of Camp Community from 2010, which was an amazing experience that stays with you, as you heard from Caroline. The second reason I'm here is introduced to you my mentor, role model, boss, uncle, and tonight's honoree, Al Sines. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure many of you already know the kind of person my Uncle Al is, whether through a personal or business relationship with him, or reading his bio in tonight's program. <laughs> I'd like to spend a few minutes telling you more about Al from my perspective, though. Three of the most important things to my Uncle Al are family, character, and relationships. Growing up in a large family many uncle, with many uncles and aunts and cousins, Al has always been the rock and the go-to person for any problem or question. A few months ago, I had to go to the emergency room with appendicitis. <laughs> of course, the first thing I do is text my father because I know if I text my mother, she'll start panicking. <laughs> Within minutes of texting my father, Al was in the ER to be with me while my fiance and my parents traveled from work. If you ask anyone in my family or any of Al's colleagues and friends, they'll tell you this is not surprising because it's Al. I've had the great opportunity to have a relationship with my Uncle Al, not only in family life, but also in work life. I have been able to learn from him and observe during many business interactions. Al's character and value of integrity, trust, and loyalty are what made him so successful today. All of the coworkers I am fortunate enough to work with will tell you the same. No matter the circumstance, oh, there's a second page. <laughs> Al's character always remains firm. And if you ask anyone Al has done business with, they'll tell you this isn't surprising because it's Al. Lastly, if you've ever been out in public with Al, you know that he will start a conversation with anyone. <laughs> Every time Al visits a restaurant, he makes it a point to learn the name of the waitstaff and address them by name for every interaction. Not only does he learn their name, he asks more about them, where they're from, how they got where they were, and of course, what's their favorite meal on the menu. <laughs> he is genuine in all of his interactions and demonstrates to others that he cares. This is true of everyone he meets. And if you ask any of his friends or the staff at the restaurant where he's a regular to, and Adam from Grace can tell you, <laughs> they'll tell you this isn't surprising because it's Al. Long story short, my whole life, I have seen my Uncle Al do all of these things, and up until recently, I've always thought it's because it's Uncle Al. As I've grown up, I've realized that my Uncle Al is the kind of person I aspire to be in life. I know I am a better person because of Uncle Al, and I believe the community of Fort Worth has received this benefit as well. So without further ado, I invite to the podium the 2019 MCA honoree and my uncle, Al Sines.